This is the tallest building you have made in, in height. You are like in a plane. I think some people have the feeling they are the, the king because they are higher. It is not a center of the city, it's not a project which you can see the same tower from everywhere. It is a project whose importance would be that it is addressing Central Park. In this way, from everywhere, you understand where is the north, where is the south, and the east and west. You, you, you have really a, an orientated building. The shaping of the building, part of it came from the fact that the site itself is not a square, it's not a rectangle, it's an angle. So I organized a series of curves, making like a cascade which was a way to uh, include every volume and to unify them. So the littler part on the side and the upper part on the main part of the building have the same dynamic of curve facing Central Park. The difference in the West and East it was to have sort of a play of rectangle, like uh, the pixel of an image. I said sometimes like the painting of uh, Gustav Klimt, the, the Austrian uh, painter, which would use some different color of glass, creating an animated facade, which express also that you have many floors, you have many people. Gary Barnett from Extel was very involved in all of this. He said to me, I am very good with color. You cannot cheat me with the color of the glass. And, and he recognized it, it was true that with the lines in a living room, you had some slight differences of the color of the grass of Central Park. You would have a little different, which was an, an not acceptable. So uh, we unified the glass of the north. It's uh, feeling a uh, good uh, continuity, good achievement, and a, a sense of, I would say, gratitude to the city. I would not pretend it changed some, uh, Manhattan, but it's true that this one would be recognizable in this place.